my name is Katriona and I'm a fearless catus. No, I might be cat, but I'm not a cat. <laughs> my species like yours is Homo sapien. So taxonomy, it can be hard to like group all living things, but taxonomists do it. So to celebrate the International Science Center and Science Museums Day, I'm dedicating this song to Dr. Ken Walker at Museums Victoria, who essentially taught me most of what I know about taxonomy. And these are a lot of lessons learned from him. And it's also dedicated to my year seven into science students because they're learning all about how we classify living things. So here we go. Taxonomy is the way we classify things in the tree of life and diversity it brings. The power of taxonomy goes beyond just a name because no two species are exactly the same. It gives a way for us to communicate about all things in nature and info we collate. How do we group everything in nature? There's a way we can remember the nomenclature. King Philip claps often for good science. Kingdom phylum class order family genus species. King Philip claps often for good science. Science, and that's how life grouped in taxonomy. Five kingdoms make up all of life, among which animals are the most rife. Monera are one cell, you need a scope to see them. Plants make sugar from sunlight, and many have a stem. Fungi like molten and yeast are like a thread. Protists are essentially whatever I've not said. These are then grouped further by their trait, down to species defined by their ability to make. King Philip claps often for good science. Kingdom phylum class order family genus species. King Philip claps often for good science and that's how life's grouped in taxonomy. Many species call Australia home, but 70% have no names that are known. Knowing what we're dealing with is paramount. Is it harmless or a pest or part of a wildlife count? King Philip claps often for good science. Kingdom phylum class order family genus species. King Philip claps often for good science. And that's how life's grouped in taxonomy.